Massive ships are powered by massive propellers. Likewise, small boats are powered by small propellers, but the principles are the same. One propeller is the controllable or variable pitch propeller, but how exactly does it work? This vessel is the Hermes. She's an old design deep sea salvage tug fitted with two propellers. I don't know what her original propulsion was, but I can use her for this demonstration and give her one controllable pitch propeller and one fixed pitch propeller. When they're spinning away like this, it's hard to see anything much. So let's slow it down and look at the controllable pitch. Like this, she's running ahead. The propeller blade is cutting the water and propelling it backwards. This is no different to a fixed propeller. When running ahead, they look exactly the same. The difference comes when we want to reduce the speed. To reduce the speed of a fixed propeller, you have to slow the rotation. Very easy if you've either got a gearbox or an engine that can easily vary at speed, but it's a bit harder when your engine likes to run at a constant speed. A controllable pitch propeller, on the other hand, runs at a constant rotational speed. To reduce the vessel's speed, you change the angle of attack of each blade instead. It's hard to see while rotating, so let's stop it and have a closer look. Running ahead, you can see it's got a steep angle of attack. This makes it harder to turn, but generates more thrust. As you reduce the angle of attack, the engine has an easier time turning the propeller, but it generates less thrust, slowing the vessel. You can generate zero thrust by setting the pitch to zero. For example, this setting would be used when a ship has started her engines but is still alongside her berth, not yet wanting to move. By contrast, to set a fixed pitch propeller to generate zero thrust, you literally stop it. For a stern propulsion, a fixed pitch propeller needs to turn in the opposite direction. Ships do this either through a gearbox arrangement or sometimes by literally stopping the engine and restarting it in the other direction. The controllable pitch propeller just needs to alter its pitch to be pointing the other way. If we stop it again, you can see the alteration becomes a lot clearer. The shallow angle generates lesser stern thrust, but you can increase it by altering the blades even further. One thing to just compare quickly is the path that the water is directed down. Going astern, you can see the shape of the blade is less efficient than it was when going ahead. This is why ship's astern power is sometimes up to 50% less than for the same pitch ahead. Fixed pitch propellers, on the other hand, don't suffer quite as badly, as they're effectively always at their maximum pitch setting. The main takeaway point is that a controllable pitch propeller is constantly spinning. It's constantly generating a bit of water flow at the stern of the vessel. When handling a vessel at slow speed, that's enough to actually start a turn and throw you out of position. We call this effect transverse thrust, or propeller walk, but that is a topic for another video. Hopefully in this video, you've seen how a controllable pitch propeller works and what it means if you have one from your boat.